Your confidence is the key to your success. If you do not possess confidence, if you do not have any confidence, I swear you are not going anywhere. You ain't going nowhere. I, let Throw me in. That's why the line is by experience. Confidence is something that we have, we all have at birth from the moment we exit the womb and we enter into this earth. If you can think about like a kid or a baby, they don't care. Like they be screaming, hollering in public places, just acting a fool. They can wear what they want to wear. You can put them on any outfit, any pair of shoes. They can lose a shoe and they won't have a care in the world. And that is just the visual definition of confidence. Just doing what you want to do when you want to do, wearing what you want to wear and just being one with the universe one with the world and just not caring about what people think and as we get older we begin to lose that confidence and it has to be rebuilt and relearned over time it's something that takes discipline it's something that once you lose it, it is almost nearly feels like it's almost nearly impossible to gain again and the reason we begin to lose that confidence is because as we get older we become more aware we begin to compare ourselves to others we can communicate with one another we get criticized more and a lot of our interactions are through you know opinions and critiques and people you just sharing their opinions on things or telling you how to do things or this is what I prefer these are the you know if it's a job thinking about a job these are the skills that you need to have this is you know who you need to be how you need to be so over time you just start to you know kind of strip yourself of that confidence and become you know this cookie cutter example or this cookie cutter person of what you think you should be to get that job or talk to this person or what pretty looks like what beautiful looks like what smart looks like what you know a doctor is supposed to do what you know so over time you lose you just kind of lose yourself you lose that confidence that you had when you entered into this world to begin with but starting today and forever from here to forever, we are claiming the confidence, we're regaining the confidence, we're building the confidence back. Your confidence is the key to your success. If you want to be successful, you have no choice but to go get your confidence. Run towards it, full speed, playing no games. If you want to be successful, you have to be confident. Don't be afraid to go first in whatever you do, what, wherever you are, whatever you're talking about. Don't be afraid to go first. Don't be afraid to look stupid. Don't be afraid to ask dumb questions, looking stupid, whatever the case may be, don't be afraid to go first. This is something that is imperative to, to gaining your confidence. The longer you sit and wait for you know, the other people in the room or the other people, you know, to, 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 to do something or to lead the way, the longer it's going to take you to get to the end, to get to the end goal, to be successful. And that is something I personally, I pride myself on every single day is I don't care. I will be the first one to ask that question. I'm the first one to go first. I, let throw me in because the quicker I get through to this, the quicker I can get to the, the goal, the quicker I can, you know, get to the end goal, the quicker I can become the person that I want to be, the quicker I can gain this confidence back. OK, so don't be afraid to just look silly, say what's on your mind, say what you want to say, be who, you, be who you want to be, ask the questions. No question is a stupid question. You know, the more you know, the more you know. The learner, the most confident people are the people that are learners, the people that are not afraid to say, you know what, I don't know everything. Surrounding myself by people who may know more than me is key to, you know, being successful. You know, just be yourself. Like overall, just be yourself. I know it's, it's cliche to say be yourself, but that is what confidence is. It's just not being afraid to be yourself. Speak your mind and say what you want to say with respect, of course, but nevertheless i have gotten further in life looking silly honestly and being vocal and being unfiltered and direct than i've ever gotten just being quiet and just going with the flow like i've seen a major difference you know you it, it's bigger than just confidence you weed through relationships quicker people quicker situations quicker you kind of just you like i said you're able to find reconnect with confidence reconnect with who you are a lot quicker you're able to see you know who's on the same type of time as you are who's not just by coming out and just being who you are you can people will start to be like oh ooh, like oh i don't really like her like that i don't like him like that because they're they're doing too much but then there's on the flip side there's people they'd be like oh i love them like they are who they are they're you know not afraid to just be so just go first ask the questions be silly 
go get your confidence. And we can't talk about confidence and success without including being resilient. Confidence and resilience, they go hand in hand. Resilience is the ability to fall down and get up, fall down, get up, fall down, get up, and just keep going. You know, keep being confident, keep being consistent, continuing to be clear on your goals, continuing to be clear on where you're headed, and just being assured of, you know, no matter what happens, I'm, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna go, you know, run towards my goals and I'm not gonna let anything stop me. So a key to being confident and building your success and being successful is you have to have that resilience piece. You have to understand that you are going to fall down, but you gotta get up, okay? You gotta get up each and every time you fall, you have to get up. You are not gonna go through this journey. You are not gonna go through this life without falling down. The hardest part about falling down is having the confidence to get up and to see the goal and to see that you know end goal to success and to say, okay, let me go grab me a Band-Aid, let me get up and let me keep going. Believe that anything's possible anyway. This is one of my favorite quotes. I have a tattoo on my back. Just believing that anything is possible anyway, that kind of goes hand in hand with just being resilient. Just, under, just being sure and certain that even though things look dark and even though I'm on the ground right now, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to build my confidence. I'm going to be successful no matter what life throws at you. You may be, you know, in the worst situation of your life and it may not, it may look like there is no way in hell I'm getting out of this. There is no way in hell I'm going to figure out how to pay this bill, how to graduate, how to pass this test, how to whatever, how to how to be successful, whatever the case may be. You may be looking at it and be thinking like there is no way in hell that I'm going to be able to get through this. But you have to believe even in those dark moments that it is possible and that you are going to make it through. You have to believe that anything's possible even when it does not look possible and a way will find its way to you in you will find your way through. We always get through it. Like when you think about some of the hardest things that you've been through, you got through it, right? You got through it. Like when I went, and sometimes you just have to sit down and, and remember and recall those moments. Like, dang, that was a year ago, or that was six months ago, or that was a couple years ago. And you got through it. You're better, you're, you're healing, you're able to, you know, cope a little bit better. You're able to, you, you got up and you, you were resilient and you kept it pushing. So just believing that anything's possible, no matter what, that is a key to confidence because you're confident that no matter what I'm going through, I'm going to be successful and I'm going to get through it. And this is not the end of it. Can't be the end of it. And so I'm laying six feet under in, in the ground. This is not the end. I'm going to be that. That takes confidence to be certain. And speaking on personal experiences, not everybody's going to agree with you. Not everybody. People might look at you like you're crazy when you when you still say, you know what, I'm still going to graduate or I'm still going to be successful or I'm going to be this or I'm going to be that. And they're laughing or they're looking at you like, oh, I don't know how you're going to do that or I don't know. Confidence. I, it's going to happen, period. Like you may not need, need to believe it and you don't have to believe it, but I do. And that, that shows strength. That shows confidence. That's believing that anything's possible. Anyway, that's resilience. That's Going first, that's speaking your mind. Your confidence is the key to your success. Either you're going to be confident and successful or you're not. Which one are you going to be? Okay, which one are you going to be? <laughs> Go get your confidences.